Five of Swords. Ace of Pentacles in a Rufus. Wow. <laughs> Tower. Yeah, that was shocking. So somebody could be getting ready to experience some type of tower moment. This person sabotaged their self with this five of swords being here. They were determined to try to take something from you. And um, it could have been just who you are as a person. They wanted that to be snatched from you, stripped from you. And it's like they sabotaged their self trying to backstab you, betray you because they were envious of you. They were jealous of you. And this person, um, they, you know, spent all of their time trying to be determined to, you know, sabotage you, make you look bad, you know, to other people. And it's like they sabotaged whatever they had coming in because they wanted what was yours. They wanted to take something from you. So whatever they had coming in, they lost that Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. They don't have a new beginning. They don't, you know, they can't start over. It's like they sabotage their self and they're going through this drastic change. They're going through a lot of destruction, tower moments, habit, crisis, and damage that they created trying to sabotage you. This person thought that they were just going to send you through tower moments, crisis, damage, destruction, because they were envious of you. And it did not work. This person sabotaged their self and they needed to go through this tower. As they're watching you at the Ace of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. Nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, focusing on your finances, your business, focusing on your stability, being who you are as a person, working hard on yourself. Yeah, and then Ace of Cups is here. This person was intimidated because you were someone that was, uh, you take care of yourself, you love yourself. And they're also intimidated in how hard you work, who you are as a person. You could be someone that's um, very kind-hearted, very giving. A lot of people wanted to take action towards you. And it's like you were taking action towards whatever you wanted out of life. Working hard on what you want. Which was your stability, your health. You're someone that respects yourself. So a lot of people respect you because you love yourself, Ace of Cups. Whoever this energy is, is someone that's sitting back just going through a tower moment. Different towers that they created for themselves. Yeah, the fool card is here. You're in a whole nother direction. You're um, on a journey. And it's like you took a leap of faith towards something different. This person could have thought that you were going to be stuck and they were just going to sit, you know, sit back and um, be determined and focus on sabotaging you. You went in a whole nother direction. So it's like they sabotaged their self. Yeah, you're walking in your calling, your purpose. Three of Cups is here. I'm also getting someone wants to take a leap of faith towards a direction that you're in. And they want to reconnect with you. They want to reconcile something with you. Three of Cups is here. It's going to have been a friend of yours or somebody that, um, somebody that you could have been a friend to in the past with this Three of Cups being here. Or this just could mean reconciliation. And, um, yeah, connecting. Queen of Swords is here. The Lovers and then the Nine of Swords. Yeah. They can't stop dreaming about you. And this is somebody that you spoke the truth to. Queen of Swords is here. They look at you as someone that's highly intelligent. And um, they could have felt like you just cut them off. You, you were someone that was close to this person and they're stressed out. You have a deep connection with this person. This could be, you know, you having a deep connection with them in the spiritual realm. And it's like they feel cut off by you. They feel distant. And this person keep having dreams about you. They're stressed out because of the connection. Yeah, two of cups is here. They want to partner up with you and work with you. This person wants to exchange cups. Yeah. 
Yeah. The moon card and four of swords. So this person could have been isolated from you because they wanted to keep it hidden that they were laying something to rest. This is something that was stressing them out as well, is what I'm getting. Yeah, they were isolated from you because they were trying to keep something hidden. Yeah, Six of Cups is here. They were trying to keep whatever took place in the past. Yeah, and then the Unknown card is here. This could be someone that you don't even know. And it's like they were trying to hide something that took place in the past. And they were they could have reconnected with somebody that they don't know. And um or they could have reconnected with somebody that they were with in the past and they didn't want you to know. Or something like that. The Six of Cups talks about like going back. This could have been a past life soulmate of yours or a past life, you know, connection. This person could have went back to somebody that they were recently with in the past and they didn't want you to know or something like that. Yeah. These are people that you don't even know. And this person was trying to hide this or something like that. Yeah, the position is here and then the will of fortune is here. It's like you're too busy manifesting, being creative. Having creativity and foresight of your future, your path. You're not worried about these people. And this, this is what this energy does not get as they were trying to hide the fact that this energy was trying to sabotage you. It's like you already knew. But you already knew that this person would go through a tower moment and they would be doing it, whatever they were doing to sabotage yourself. As you're walking in your destiny, will of fortune, your purpose, the will is only turning in your favor and it's backfiring on this person. And them, if they chose to stay attached to them, you know, it is what it is. And um, now this person is stressed out because they're in love with you. Whoever they went back to in the past was somebody that tricked them because they, you know, they wanted, they wanted this person's will of fortune. They wanted this person's good luck. So they kind of tricked them into um, coming back to them or something or reconnecting with them. And it's like they were trying to hide that from you. And it's like, you don't even care. Yeah, this is something that, that's a non-factor. These are non-factors. Yeah, this person ended up getting betrayed. Ten of Swords is here. They could have betrayed you. Yeah. This person ended up getting betrayed by the same person that was trying to um, sabotage you to make you look bad. They could have knew that you were supposed to partner up with this person. You were probably working with this person or something like that. Some type of way you were connected with this person with this three of cups being here. And um, this was somebody that was a third party. And it's like they came in and they, you know, were playing with spell work over this person to try to manifest whatever it is they wanted. This person sabotaged their self, brought their self through a tower and this other person through a tower as well. And they were trying to hide the fact that they were attached to this energy. But it's like you were already going towards a whole nother direction. You spoke the truth to this person about this person and you had to move forward. They were trying to hide this. And this is something that you didn't even care about. This didn't have nothing to do with you. Yeah, Three of Swords is here. These are people that thought that you were going to be heartbroken, stressed out, depressed. It did not work. This person had them betrayed their self. You did your part. You told this person the truth and then you had to move on. This person went backwards. That's on them, not on you. That person needed to still learn lessons with this Ten of Swords being here. Yeah, they still needed to learn lessons because this person didn't believe something that you said. You spoke the truth about this person. This person felt cut off by you. Yeah, and they're stressed out because they're in love with you. And it's like they could have did this, you know, went back to somebody that they were associated with in the past because they wanted to get some attention from you, but that didn't work. This person ended up betraying their self, sabotaging their self, and now they're depressed. They're stressed out. 
Yeah, because you're manifesting. Yeah, you're attracting a lot of attention. Queen of Wands is here. It's like you're someone that's very confident. You know who you are as a person. You didn't need any validation from nobody. You didn't need anybody to give you no attention. You know who you are. These are people that needed, um, this is, these, I'm hearing non-factors. These are people that needed validation from people. Yeah, and they wanted some type of attention. It's like you weren't giving them the type of attention that they wanted. They went behind the scenes and thought they were going to betray you or something like that. They, they sabotaged themselves. Whoever these energies are, they sabotaged themselves. And they didn't want you to know. That's why they had to distance themselves away from you. Everything they wanted to send at you was rejected. Four cups is here. Just you standing up in this queen of wands energy, being a leader, being confident, believing in yourself and going after whatever it is you want out of life that made them feel insecure. That made them feel rejected by you because you were standing up in your own energy and these people needed validation from other people to feel secure. Yeah, the chariot is here and then knight of swords. It's like you've moved forward and they're pissed off. You've been moved forward. After speaking truth and clarity, after gaining truth and clarity, you moved on. And it's like you were already gone. That's why this is stuff that you didn't even know. And it wasn't a factor in your life. Since you weren't paying attention, this person wanted to betray you. Have you had the three of swords broke? And it did not work. This person was dealing with some type of hurt or rejection or insecurities and hurt people hurt people. And they wanted you to be hurt. And it did not work. It's like these people sabotage their self. Yeah, four of pentacles is here. Now they're sitting back trying to hold on to you energetically. <laughs> this is sad. Yeah, because they feel stuck. Eight of swords is here. These people are stuck on you. That's all they, this is, this is their, their life. And these are people you don't even know. You're not even associated with and weren't associated with in the past. They didn't want you to know what they had and did in the past. These people got, ended up getting wrapped up in some type of situation. And they thought they can wrap you up in some type of situation. You could have been wrapped up in a situation where you were in this queen of swords having to fight for something that was not true that you got wrapped up in. Because these people were so trying to have so much control over you. Just some control freaks that was desperate and obsessed over you. Obsessed with just sitting back trying to sabotage you. Hating on you. Jealous of you. They didn't have a life. These are people that are binded, blinded, and stuck. And they feel insecure. It's like they just kept their self stuck. As they watched you move forward. Yeah, Page of Pentacles is here. You're in a whole nother direction. You've learned new things. These are people that were very childish and they didn't have anything to offer. And they're stressed out. That's all I keep hearing. They're stressed out and they want to keep that head in. And that ain't got nothing to do with you. You moved on like you were supposed to. This, this person or these people need to move on if they know what's good for them. Yeah, Eight of Cups is here. You had to been walked away and you did not look back. These are people that are still seeking for some type of attention. And they're not going to get it. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles is here. These people need to work on their self. Yeah. You had to complete the cycles. You had to start working on yourself. It's like. Whatever, whatever, is you don't even know these people. That's all I keep getting. You were just working on, you know, completing a cycle. It's like you're in a whole nother cycle. You've ended the cycle out with toxic individuals. These are people that you don't even know that got behind the scenes envious and jealous of you. Trying to secretly sabotage you and somebody that you were supposed to partner up with. And they didn't do nothing but sabotage yourself and that person. As you hadn't walked into a whole new cycle, grounded with this world card being here and then at the Eight of Pentacles, working on yourself, building, focusing on you, working by yourself. You completed a cycle by yourself. 
These are people that needed validation and they needed help. They don't believe in their self. And it's like, as you're sitting in this Queen of Wands energy, you put confidence in yourself, belief in yourself. And you could have been in an energy where a lot of people didn't believe in you. But you chose to love yourself. You chose to take action towards whatever it is that you want out of life. And you chose to, you don't know, choose you. Nurture yourself. Take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. Yeah, Nine of Cups is here. And you're more happy and more content by yourself. A lot of people were sitting back watching you as they seen you at this Nine of Cups wish fulfillment. And they're sitting at the Five of Swords, didn't realize they had to sabotage yourself. Out the gate. Hating and mad for no apparent reason. These are people that could have been working on their self and completing cycles out. But no, they chose to sit back at the Eight of Swords stuck on you. Binding and blinding and tied up. Waiting for towers that they don't even see. Sabotaging whatever they had coming towards them. Thinking that they had control of what, what was coming towards you. Nine of Pentacles is here. Yeah, these are people that wanted to get to... It's like you were at the Nine of Pentacles when this, these people were watching you. Someone that's very self-sufficient, independent, abundant. A business owner. Someone that minds your own business. Went from the Nine of Pentacles straight into the Queen of Pentacles. I'm hearing everything you touch is glistening. You're someone that's independent and not codependent. These are people that were fixated on your business, your life, your stability. And King of Swords is here. And King of Cups. Yeah, this person, whoever this energy is, they're in the King of Swords. Something backfired. So it's like they were acting nonchalant. This person could have been acting like they didn't have no emotions for you or something like that. This person was trying to hide something. That's why they stay isolated from you and now they're stressed out. Yeah, whoever this King of Swords is, is this King of Cups. This is somebody that was trying to hide the fact that they were in love with you. Yeah, and it backfired. Seven of Wands is here. It's like they were trying to hide it from you, but it's like people around them, they knew, and they were trying to sabotage that person. The same people that were trying to sabotage you that you don't even know and you weren't even paying attention to, and it backfired on all of them. Because you're divinely protected. Seven of Pentacles is here. This is what they invested in. It's like these people are sitting back reaping the repercussions of everything that they had done song. Um, they didn't get anything out of it. Two of Swords. And then the Devil. They were trying to blind, blind, wanted you to be blinded to the fact that they were obsessed, possessive, had different addictions, drug habits. Walked in toxicity and devil energy. Blinded playing with stuff they know nothing about. And thought that you would be blinded from the truth. They can blindfold you. You were in this queen of swords as they're at the two of swords. Blinded and blinded to this devil energy. And stuck. Ten of cups is here. And then justice is here. Yeah, then eight of wands is here. It's like this person wanted you to be blinded to the fact that they were attached to different people that were toxic. You could have knew and you had to move forward. That was not your, it wasn't for you to sit back and dwell on, oh, this person is stuck. This person is attached to this person. That's their problem, not yours. You hadn't already been through a lot. 
and you deserve to focus on yourself, take action towards whatever it is you wanted out of life, and that person needed to do the same. Start loving their self, taking care of their self, taking action towards whatever it is they wanted out of life, or they were going to stay stuck. And they were going to watch you move forward. Two things that you deserve, and that's it. And it's like this person wants to come towards you quick. They want to message you or communicate or something like that with you because they want justice with you. And then the Ten of Cups being here. Yeah. It's like this person see you as wish fulfillment. They see you at the Nine of Cups. And they want to come towards you Ten of Cups. Because they want to have something with you. Yeah, Six of Pentacles is here. This person look at you as their equal, but it's like whatever they were trying to hide from you, it had not came, it had not backfire on them tenfold. This is something you spoke the truth about, and then you had an eight of cups and didn't even look back. Yeah. This person needed to heal. The star card is here. You were healing. You were someone that spiritually weighed. You were someone that was balancing out whatever it is that you had not went through, and you knew your worth, you knew what you deserved. You were no longer in a, in a confused mindset, and this person possibly was. Yeah, they needed to heal. Ten of Pentacles is here. And then Five of Wands is here. Yeah. Whoever these people are that thought they were going to sit back and secretly try to, you know, compete, copy, one-up you, or send conflict to you, and they would have control of your Ten of Pentacles, they're sitting back going through judgment. They're going through karma. Everything had them backfire onto them. These are people that sit back and conflict with their self. They cannot get to your Ten of Pentacles. They cannot create your generational wealth. They cannot connect with your ancestors. These are people that were at the Two of Swords blinded from the truth and obsessed. Blinded playing with stuff they know nothing about. 